Hey everyone, a very warm welcome on our e-learning platform of Edwom Scientific. We believe you all are doing great. Let's begin our today's session. Today's session will be on peptide cutter. Okay, those who are beginner to this platform, I would want, I would like to just briefly explain what this platform is, what this tool is, and who and why this uh, tool will be required. Mostly if you people are from biochemistry, structure biology, computational biology, molecular biology background, we might require work related to proteins and peptide. And at many stages, we have to cleave these peptide and protein for our experimental purpose. So if you want to see what and where your peptide and protein can be cleaved by these proteases and chemicals, then for that purpose, you can use this XPC based tool, which is called as peptide cutter. So peptide cutter is a XPC based tool, which we use to predict potential cleavage site cleaved by the proteases or chemical in a given chosen protein and protein sequences. Peptide cutter provide and display the input sequence with possible cleavage site mapped on it or a table of a cleavage possible site. Those who are beginner to this platform, I would suggest them to use this URL and come to XPC site and come to this peptide cutter first. Okay, so this peptide cutter will look like this. As we have display, as we have shown you program in our last videos. Similarly, here also we can provide our input sequence either. We can paste our sequence or we may provide the ID. Okay, so you may either provide the Swiss prod, Trumbull, or Uniprot ID, or you may paste your sequence. If we come to the setting part, selections and settings, either you may go for the default settings or either you can choose your required setting based on your experimental need. So you, you may choose single proteases and chemical, a selection customized or all whole list of proteases and chemical also can be selected here. So you may either choose the single protease and chemical. If you want a single chemical or proteases based cleavage in your peptide, if your focus area is only one chemical or one enzyme, then you can select only one enzyme based on your requirement. Or you may go for selection. If suppose you are using three, four, six enzymes or chemicals and you want to check whether it is cleaving your protein or peptide, then you can do customized selection of your enzymes and chemicals. The other is just go for default uh, setting and select the whole list. So whatever chemical or enzymes are cleaving your peptide and protein, they will display everything in the result section. If we talk about the uh, this display settings. So enzyme and chemical selection you can do here. If you uh, if we talk about the output or the display of the result, here also we have few options and based on our needs we can do the particular selection. So most of the time the result will be displayed in the table form. One is it is grouped alphabetically according to the enzymes names. The other is sequences sequentially according to the amino acid number where it is cleaving. And the last is that output is also displayed as a map of cleavage site. So either you can select all or let it be in this setting. Here we should also, uh, uh, we should be aware that this tool is not used for uh, protein uh, modified proteins, the tra post translation modified proteins and its effect won't be uh, displayed here. So the th that is one exception. So we have to be careful. Like peptide cutter won't be used for post translated modified proteins. Other than that, if you want to display the results in your thesis in your article. Then here also the sequence map is displayed in a position of 10 to 60 amino acid, and it is possible to modify the portion size and thus the map output according to our needs. Adjusting this size may be especially important for us if we want to display these things in our article and thesis. So we have to be very careful. Or uh, other than that, the display 
you can get it in alphabetically uh, uh, alphabetically order based on the enzyme's name or display sequentially all the cleavage site in the sequences and respective cleavage site from N to C terminus. A list of peptide resulting from the digestion is also provided here. The respective length in amino acids, molecular weight in Dalton, these things are also uh, we, we may get from here if we are selecting for those options. So let's see a few do, uh, demo here. So we will be more comfortable to get the insight like how this uh, tool works. So as I, uh, 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 from where you can get your protein sequence. As I said, either you can go to Uniprot or in CBI protein. If you want only ID, then you have to just take this ID, Uniprot ID, or else we have to take the plain sequence of our protein. So in this case, BCL2, this protein is of 239, and we have to take this. We can go to peptide cutter. This is the page of, this is the expressive page with peptide cutter tool. Here, either Uniprot ID or sequences we have to paste. So this is the sequence. In default setting, I am performing the prediction. So these are the input sequences, what we have provided. And you can see these are the enzymes alphabetically arranged, which are capable of cleaving this peptide and protein. Okay, so all these enzymes and chemicals are listed over here. These are the enzymes that how many cleavage and at what position they are doing. They, ha they have displays all these things also. So this is alphabetically and this is sequentially at what position, how many times they are cutting these protein is mentioned here. After that, I have uh, mentioned that it also display in a map format also from N to C terminal. So these are the enzyme and at what position they are cleaving is also mentioned here. And by just, if you want to click at particular enzyme, just by mouse clicking, it will give you specific data for that particular enzymes at what position, how many times it is cleaving. So if you want to display your result in this way for one single enzyme or single chemical compound, you can get it like this or else, or else you will get the full detail. So this protein was 239, so 1 to 16, what enzymes are cutting at what position from N to C terminal is mentioned here. 61 to 120 is over here, and this kind of results you are getting. Okay. So I would suggest you bring your peptide and protein and try to visualize and analyze your protein and peptide over this platform. If you want to, dis, uh, uh, like in default setting, the result will look like this. If in display setting, you want customized things, then you can change these settings in result sections also. And uh, depending on your needs, you can play with these selections. And for, uh, for display purpose, if you want to like uh, output display file, if you want to minimize or the range, if you want to change that, that this can be also done from here. So I would suggest and request you all to use this platform. And if you guys think and uh, uh, find this tool helpful for your research purpose and for your curriculum, we would uh, suggest and request you all to share these videos among your friends and your scientific community. And please do like and subscribe our channel. And uh, thank you very much from our side.